Hi guys, I hope you had a good time at Business Mastery. Uh, I have the time to reach out to you this, for this video. Just I just got kicked out of um, the Martini Blue where I was supposed to join you guys. Sorry for not being there. They didn't like the fact I had short and colorful shoes. But it's really a great opportunity for me to get out here, take time in my apartment. That's this van in fact parked in the parking of the convention center. Don't tell anybody. Um, we talked about contribution and Tony is a great a genius about that and how communicating with us, how it's important. And like you can see, I'm not the richest person here, but I have like the idea that can make, that can grow your contribution into like, leverage your contribution into a huge point. And this is why technical skills and it's how to build buildings to help people. So this building will show you I will show you in two minutes how to give food to people, tr transform people's shit into food, and give a healthy shelter to people with good water. So it seems like out of the mind, it's really simple. So I'm just a technical guy. I'm going to show you how we do that and how simple it is. And you have to imagine how it would have a huge impact on people's life. So here we go on my high tech board, drawing board. Um, so you can see the technology, I'm really a guy that likes efficient stuff, so this is one. Um, so, this is the ground. So we're just going to come and we're going to build a vaulted cement roof with concrete and rebar that they have everyone on the planet. We're going to recycle tires and build the foundation of these walls. Um, what makes the vaulted roof that's really solid, has a base, um, seismic and destructible because the tire will act to resist any seismic damage that could happen. So this is a really solid shelter. We're going to come and put two tires here and build a water system on top with a little bridge here. So what would that do? It would do that the rain that falls from the roof and it's like shelters for people in third world country but we could use the same, We can, in fact I'm doing plans and we're using the same technology home to build. So. The water falls on the roof, goes down here, falls on the cisterns, fill up the cistern with fresh water, and then we have a valve here that's fed by gravity to fill up water with a ceramic filter, so people have fresh water that's really healthy to drink. And then we put another valve, so this is really good, we're collecting water from the rain, taking the depend dependency on a huge system, a truck to give them clean water, a Coca-Cola, who knows. And then we're taking this water and we're taking it here and what's happening here is that we're going to see put hygiene into their lives of with really simple technology so here we're going to have a shower and this people are going to be the water is going to be pumped and people are going to have a shower and this happy people here is going to be in the shower and then they clean themselves it gives them hygiene and this water from the shower will go into that botanical cell here that I just draw that's really just a liner plastic with some earth and some rocks in it. And the soap will make grey water and the soap is plenty of nitrate and plants love nitrate. So the roots will go down here, they will grow like crazy and produce fruits that are food for people. So from the grey water we're going to get food to people and then this water once it's filtered will get popped back into a toilet here. And this toilet they're going to just normally like shit in it like into a normal toilet so then the water will come black water and will fill up the black water system here and that will overflow into a botanical cell that will do the same thing as the last one it will give fertilized water so the water with shit if you didn't know that your food was go out of shit that's the best way to go food is fertilize it so here we're doing from the water of the rain we're collecting it by gravity so whatever happens we're feeding them with clean water filtered by a ceramic filter. We're giving them a shower, we're giving them food, transforming their shit into food. Just as an idea, normally, this is a normal street and what was happening before we do this shelter is that people were living and they had no place to live. So they were shitting in the street, simply, and then maybe they had a basic shelter and then with ONG we'd come and put concrete wall, wall so it's more solid. And we're losing the rain and we don't have more systems. Watch this, we're transforming water into food, shit into food and water from the rain into healthy water. 
this is really great but the most amazing part of this is that I have you have a top view of this and this is what they manage to do they build so this is the U it's a top view of this here they built one and they went over there and this has been done before this is the shower and this is a toilet they built one U another U over there with the local then they went away and they said to the local here's the plan they showed them how to build the rest so they said to the local okay we're gone away we send you some money and you build the next one they build the next one they send the photo so we okay we send back money they build another one so that's why they build all of it with the shower toilet shower toilet and they build all this you that can be like all of this, this one could be a school, this one could be a home, this one could be a local bank, this one could be a community center, and another home, another home, and another home. And around it, it's growing through these other botanical cells that we're talking about. So it's a really beautiful environment, and it's giving every basic need to people. And here, the water system. So here we are with the simplest system ever, and we're empowering community to build it themselves, and not like taking people for huge city, coming to build this and leaving them without any skills and with this metal roof. We're having this thing here where people are empowered and can build this by their own. So it's really amazing. So if ever you want to have more about this, I'm not the genius behind this. I'm just the guy that's serving to give the information. I will encourage you to go and see Earthship. And this is Michael Reno that developed this. He's the genius behind it. Earthship.com. Uh, you can go and see the site. I will encourage you to go and see the YouTube, Earthship, Google, Earthship, YouTube, Flower. I know um, this is the flower design, but I would encourage you to go and see the IT video. I will show you this in Michael when I was talking. And if ever I can help you to contribute whatever so um, to, in your project of contributing. I know that the plots are doing it or falling out in third world countries and stuff like that. And all, I heard all the project of your guys. So I'm fred.wiper at gmail.com if I can help you. Headship IT on YouTube if you want to have more info. And Fred, I was Frederick here to serve you uh, from the quantum power team. So it was a pleasure and I hope that we can contribute more together. And I hope you leverage uh, your contribution to help people at another level. So have a great day. Last day.